the key that makes this part work or that makes this mate work is my name is Josh and I'm an engineer with Forge Product Development. Forge helps clients start and grow their businesses by providing affordable access to effective engineering resources. Monday through Friday, we offer a free engineering helpline live on our social media platforms where we help answer questions from people just like you. The clips that follow were taken from one of those sessions. I hope you find it useful and enjoy. All right, so let's do this one. So the question is, how do you mate a gear in SolidWorks? This is very similar to another video that we did um, this week where it's going to be, the key of it is going to be in one of the advanced mate tabs and I'll show you how to do it. All right, so first we're going to start by getting some geometry. And I don't have anything with uh, gears that I can show right away. So I went on McMaster car and just downloaded two sets of gears or two gears. So this is our small one. This is our big one. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a new assembly. And we're going to add both of these parts. I want to make sure that they're free floating. And we're just going to add some basic constraints to keep them uh, from moving around too, too much. So we can strain them in the plane. All right. So next step, you can see that they're still moving around. Next up is that we need to constrain one of them to have um, a fixed axis somewhere in space. So we're just going to make an axis and attach the part to that axis. And again, your project's probably going to be different um, because you'll you know, know what you need to do. All right, the next step is going to be to uh, create a mate between these two that is going to set the, um, the distance between their axes. And so we know this um, distance um, because it'll be specified, um, the pitch diameter of each gear will be specified, and then you just add half the pitch diameters together and um, you'll have distance between them. So in this situation, we can use the sketch and this will have a point on it, right? And then we can use this axis and this point and set a distance. And I believe it's just two and a half. And that looks right. So the gears that I've downloaded from McMaster Car don't have um, perfect geometry when it comes to their um, the teeth on them. So it's going to have some interference. And that's just Ms. McMaster's car um, air and modeling. So you see that they're not quite right. Uh, we're going to add another mate now. You'll notice that although our distance is correct, we're, we're rotating around each other. Um, so in order to fix that, we're just going to make that same point that we had. And we're going to lock it down to a common plane. coincident. So now we've got two gears that will rotate, but they're not made together rotationally. And you wouldn't be able to go in and, and uh, put mates on the individual teeth because the second you try to rotate path that contact area on the teeth, um, they would fail. Uh, so we're going to go in and the, the key that makes this part work or that makes this mate work is a sketch within each um, gear that describes their pitch diameters. So then it's pretty straightforward. You're just gonna go to mate. You're gonna go mechanical, gear, and select the two diameters. And now when you go back, they will spin. So you can hide the sketches and they're going to, uh, they're going to align 
um, to each other wherever they are when you assign that mate. Um, so if you have really accurate teeth geometry, just uh, line it up the way that you they should be. You could probably use the sketches to start that you used to, um, or you can probably use the sketches that define the teeth and mate those together and then create the um, gear mate and suppress the uh, the mate that locates the teeth and then they'll be absolutely perfect. Um, so yeah, that's how you do it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Uh, please leave a like if this was helpful and subscribe so you don't miss future videos and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.